And we're going to help you at home have the best holiday ever, thanks to Nicole Campbell from Paddle Pusher. She scanned the boards of Pinterest for us and narrowed it down because sometimes it's overwhelming. It's overwhelming is right. I did a Thanksgiving search and I went, oh. Where to start? Where to start? Uh -huh. There's so many great Scrolling ideas. Scrolling down that page just takes a while <laughs> if you want to look at all of them. So yeah. And when when you're on there as a floral designer, mm -hmm. do you see some things that you're like, I've been doing that for years? Yes. And then I see some things that I look at and go, How did I never think of that before? <laughs> some good ideas <laughs> yeah, out there. Absolutely. So why did you pick these? Um, I thought this these were simple, fun quick and easy to do. So okay, some like of those that. Pinterest projects, I mean, you look at it and go, I don't have yeah. the time and for that. And some of them actually aren't really doable, we have found. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the but fail these boards. Are. Yes, these, these are. are very doable. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're going to start on this side with yep. your gold pumpkin. Yes, this one, it's actually a fun transition from that Halloween look that everybody remembers where you're taking like the crocheted or knit tights and putting them over yes. the pumpkin, the black knit. Yes. What, I, what we did with this is you're just spray painting over that while the, the tight is on there. So you're getting kind of this modeled effect and pattern. So really, really simple and a great way to just transition. To so those gold lacy spray paint. tights that were over there. Yep. Spray paint it and then take the tights off. Yep. Let it dry and then take the tights off and you get kind of just that cool. Oh, I love it. Yeah. It was fun. It couldn't be any easier and it's a great way to use something you already have. I, I saw a lot of people put their pumpkins at the curb. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do that yet. Keep no, them around. If, if they haven't started to rot yet, yeah. keep them around. Yeah. <laughs> if you've carved them, probably too late, but these yes. were all intact the way we used them. Um, this one is done with bands of lace and ribbon, and they're just held onto the pumpkin by pins. You can do that so easily, so simply, and a great way to use up a lot of scrap stuff. If you have ribbons, that you just have a little bit left on the well, balls. I do. Yeah, so it's a great way to and use those twine. up. And then just the twine wrapping. You see a lot of the twine texture with that whole mm -hmm. burlap trend that's been so popular on Pinterest. So really easy, and you can do just a lot of different fun colors with that, looks that so too. That so pretty. Mm -hmm. All right, moving on. Um, this next one here is done, I saw a lot of people detailing the pumpkins with paper leaves or leaves cut out of like stiff velvets or satins, so yes. you can bring a lot of really elegant texture to that simply by just cutting it out and again using the pearl pins to hold it in. It's so easy to push those into the pumpkins. So you it's just very, used very all, simple. old uh, music paper. Yep. You could, you could go to the thrift store and get an old piano book or something, right? Yep. And old sheet music, um, old books, old maps are really oh, beautiful that would texture be fun. too and it kind of has a little bit of that vintage feel that's so popular. And then we just did a little bit of gold wire on there to kind of give it a little bit of sparkle. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. This one's this one's all pearls. Yeah. Um, again, just the pins, and then I use some different um, larger pearls that I threaded onto the pins to poke in there. Elegant was the word I'm looking Very for. Very elegant. Yeah, and to me it kind of has like a little bit of a snowy sort yeah. of vibe to it, which I think is perfect because we know that's and right around the corner. Can you get their beads yep, from the craft store? Yep, they're just beads from the craft store. Exactly. Or push pins? Mm -hmm. It's okay. a combination of them. The larger ones are the beads and Can the I smaller ones. Can I pull one ones. out and yeah. show folks? Like here? Yeah. Or not? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. It'll come. See how it's like that? Uh-huh. So cool. really, really easy okay. to put together. I love this. Last one, we just did a little bit of satin ribbon and a little cluster of wheat just to use the wheat in a kind of a different way. Um, and a great way to use wheat that maybe you had in something else. The stems are a little bit shorter. Um, and then down in front, we've got the lotus pods there, which is a really popular texture at this time of year. And we just did a little bit of the pearl detailing. They're just glued on with hot glue. And so then if simple. you have leftover pearl beads, yes. put them in a jar. Yeah, the pretty. apothecary jar look. You mm -hmm. see that all over yes. on Pinterest with a lot of different materials in them. And here we used pearls. I also saw it done with popcorn, which was really oh. pretty, like unpopped popcorn. Well, that's fun for Thanksgiving. Yeah, that was pretty. Um, natural colored pistachios, kind of that beautiful <gasps> creamy tan. That I was really that pretty idea. too. So you can have a lot of fun with different materials. Spray painted pine cones. Spray painted pine cones. Little, little itty bitty pumpkin. Mini pumpkin in there. And then here we've got the little sycamore gum pods in this one. So just kind of a lot of different little items maybe you've got on your if you have shelves in your basement like me yeah. where you put all your little crafty stuff just start digging through those and, and pulling out some of that stuff and it was fun to put together a little grouping and then you can I love a look it's like this perfect. because you can make it bigger or smaller depending on how much room you need for food I love it <laughs> it's so simple but you put it all together and it's very elegant mm -hmm. Nicole is going to be back next hour some more ideas from her own style sense that that'll be next hour on Good Day Wisconsin and we'll be right back